Welcome back to the watch list. Semiconductors truly were driving the market in the past. The semis were up. The market was up, semis were down, the market was down, and we unquestionably seen a few incredible names run up. Yet they've since pulled back thus. Now the inquiry becomes, which piece of this gathering are victors? Are they all champs? How about we bring our board and Michael Robinson Boss Innovation Planner at Weiss Evaluations and Olivier Blanchard's with us research chief at Futurum Bunch. Thank you both for being with us. I mean, I believe there's a thought that semi unquestionably can lead the market. Um, you know, just saw an article on NVIDIA saying that NVIDIA was as yet an easy decision with regards to effective money management. Michael, what do you think? Well, NVIDIA is one of the extraordinary chip organizations ever. It's simply been an astounding player. Um, you have a sort of a bifurcated market, figuratively speaking. A ton of the assembly and chip stocks that were actually vigorously centered around the electric vehicle. Market you've seen, that kind of delayed down financial backers aren't quite so excited as they were. Say a half year prior, we have this uh, workout delivered on the lookout for vehicles. Auto chips will remain gigantically significant. And NXP as lengthy and on SEM channel are the two players in there. Yet, so that kind of cooled the development standpoint for a portion of these stocks that were weighty, uh, intensely put resources into electric vehicles. And we've seen sort of NVIDIA here and there suck a portion of the oxygen out of the room since it's undeniably been about artificial intelligence and not as much about auto, but rather on the off chance that we don't have a solid car area in the US and worldwide, we don't have a sound economy. So for the long H, right? It's an extraordinary market to be in semiconductors assuming you've been following NVIDIA for some time you'd realize that the stock has been on a legendary run as of late. As a matter of fact, it has soar over the most recent couple of years as the organization set up a good foundation for itself as the prevailing power in GPUs, sped up processing and man-made intelligence, as you would definitely know the market for generative computer-based. Intelligence is monstrous, and it's truly expected to turn into a $1.3 trillion market. In just eight years, it's undeniable which organization will benefit the most from this unstable development and that is the market chief. NVIDIA, numerous examiners concur that NVIDIA has more space to develop, even as rivalry ascends from both customary chip creators and new entry, in light of the fact that NVIDIA has fabricated an environment that is difficult to repeat. And this could be only the start of NVIDIA's predominance, as it hopes to characterize the fate of registering that is Milis research expert Ben Ryder's message in a new note. So we should investigate what he needed to express, yet before we do that, if you have any desire to stay aware of NVIDIA's most recent updates and stay aware of the Securities Exchange's most recent news, you can follow our Twitter account we post on various occasions, day to day, about the greatest changes and impetuses on the lookout. So click the follow button if you would rather not miss the freshest market refreshes now. Back to the present video, our next visitor accepts the simulated intelligence spending. Pattern well, it will proceed with Matt Bryson WB Security. Senior VP of Value Exploration and Equipment goes along with us presently has a purchase on NVIDIA cost focus on an even thousand UH an hour works effectively of illuminating individuals about things that you are familiar in NVIDIA. Maybe that so many have barely any insight into not our crowd, they realize bounty. So how about we disregard that and discuss last week's news that was more significant for our crowd? Which is in particular letters in order Microsoft Meta, those CapEx numbers were tremendous. Matt, what's the significance here for NVIDIA when you glance through those numbers as far as the amount of that spend winds up with that organization? Look, these enormous server farm um, administrators have been spending increasingly more on computer-based intelligence as a level of their CapEx. Now they're letting you know they will spend more in CapEx and that a ton of that will be dedicated to artificial intelligence. Um, NVIDIA said on different occasions that the cloud is over half of their spend I suppose assuming you had virtual entertainment in there, you're presumably talking more than two-third of their spend, um, thus assuming those huge customers will spend more that that is something incredible for NVIDIA. No doubt, I mean, so, where, how would you model it out? I mean, I can go through, I consider, Tesla and what they will spend also even Musk's XI startup, which is raising billions to essentially spend in the server farm, so to talk unendingly from that point. Uh, is the market legitimized in kind of the momentum? various on this stock as well as even would it be advisable for it be higher given the potential. 
It has definitely, iNVIDIA, according to numerous viewpoint, isn't insane costly. So the last time we minimized NVIDIA, it was on the grounds that it was drawing near to multiple times, which you need to return to Cisco in 2000 at the pinnacle of the web air pocket to have that sort of valuation generally for such a huge organization, now according to a profit viewpoint. Um, assuming I recall accurately, my various depends on a little north of 30 times NVIDIA there. Parcels by and large, so I don't believe it's costly. Um, I think rather the inquiry is sooner or later. Do we get a respite in venture uh, in light of the fact that a portion of the commitments of man-made intelligence haven't appeared at this point. I don't feel that is occurring this year. I don't thoroughly consider it's occurring Blackwell. So we're a year in addition to out from that being risk in my view in a new examination note examiner. Ben Ritz of Mellis Research offered an inspirational perspective on NVIDIA stock. His note fundamentally said in some cases, an easy decision is an easy decision, as he contended that NVIDIA is strategically set up for critical development because of the expanded spending on computer-based intelligence framework by significant distributed computing organizations rates brings up that organizations like Amazon, Meta, and Microsoft are quickly increased interests in man-made intelligence chips for server farm projects. Assuming that you've been following any of these organizations, you'd know that he's totally correct last year. Tech Goliaths, Microsoft, and Meta each burned through $9 billion on NVIDIA's AIG GPUs which demonstrates the enormous interest in NVIDIA items, one more grand seven part, is likewise exceptionally keen on NVIDIA chips, and that is Tesla in the organization's Q1 profit call. President Elon Musk said that Tesla anticipates purchasing around 50,000 H100 chips from NVIDIA this year, and since one chip costs around $40,000, this by itself could get NVIDIA an extra $2 billion. Income, so cloud suppliers and man-made intelligence pioneers are anxious to get more NVIDIA chips persuading rates to think that the development direction for NVIDIA is convincing given its essential situation in both computer-based intelligence and distributed computing actually rates has recognized that the stock might look extravagant now. Yet he battles that NVIDIA warrants a superior given that the organization's all-out addressable market is tremendous as a matter of fact. NVIDIA said in its most recent profit call, that the all-out addressable market for server farm chips is supposed to develop from $250 billion this year to $500 billion out of five years. Reed's present a solidly bullish case that NVIDIA is a champion, an open door and surprisingly called it stock and knob-brainer speculation. Yet what's the significance here for NVIDIA stock financial backers? We should figure out hi everybody and welcome back to financial backer for Ritz's bullish opinion towards NVIDIA is reflected in his choice to keep a purchase rating on the organization's stock while raising his cost focus to $1,125 up from $1,000. Let those numbers hit home. We're discussing a possible 30% ascent from NVIDIA's flow roost around $864. So Reese is holding nothing back on the NVIDIA climb train Getting a move on, obviously financial backers need to hold on until May 22nd, so that NVIDIA's profit might perceive how it performed for the quarter. Yet one thing's without a doubt NVIDIA's profit will be heavenly, thanks to all the enormous tech names actually purchasing its chips and with the forthcoming arrival.